Hey, Y2PC, piping artist Steph here. So, um, quick little tour of my really messy art craft room. Look, I've even got my Tardises up there. Got my fabrics down here below my mannequin heads, all my other art supplies, and what I'm going to be doing in today's video. We'll get to that right after this. Okay, so I was given um, a hat, not, not to keep, to, to utilize as a pattern from Mail Harris, Garbage Man Piper. Sweet chicken, baby. All right, so I'm going to use this hat to make a pattern without taking it apart. So what I'll do is over here, I'm going to measure all the, the pieces and parts, all the sides, all the angles, and I'm going to attempt to draw the pattern on a piece of paper, uh, put the pattern over the hat to see if it's just slightly bigger for the seam allowance. And this is what I do on a normal basis, try to make patterns. So this one is one that's a little bit more form fitting when it's on the head. It's got less material. Let me show you. This one is much wider. This is the pattern that I purchased and it's pretty much three, well, four pieces for the exterior, for the, the top. It's got this top piece with the split back. It's got this round piece that goes in the front and it's got the top and the bottom of the brim. And then of course all the interior, but as far as the outside, it's only got those. This one has the same amount, but it's split into one, two, three, four pieces in the back. So it's still connected to the top. So I'm gonna have to try to figure it out. So here we go.
This is all crooked now. So um, I made the pattern and it seems to fit the hat. And as I wrote here, seam allowance, a quarter inch or a half centimeter all the way around for a seam allowance. Now I'm going, what I usually do is I'll, I'll use my chalk on the fabric to and make a really thick line and I'll cut on the outside of that line instead of the inside of the actual pattern. Because when I'm making, when I get patterns from the store, they already give you the seam allowance. So you cut out exactly on the lines, on the line of the pattern. But when I make my own patterns, I always make it the exact size. And then if I want it to be big, larger, like a larger size, I'll do an inch instead of half an inch or a quarter of an inch, depending on how much larger I want to make the hat. Um, so, if you want to make a hat like this would be considered a small if I wanted to make a medium instead of a quarter inch I'd make it a half inch it's and, and if I wanted to make a large I'd make it um, three quarters or an entire inch so I go up about a, a quarter of an inch or um, about a half a centimeter for each size I go up and then of course you have to measure the the inside of the, the head circumference. So you have to, to measure your piece of um, uh, sweat band or whatever you want, the inside band. You have to measure that and make sure that it fits in, at the very end. Sometimes you take it in more, sometimes you, you, you sew less of a seam. And so now I'm going to attempt it and that'll be a video for next week. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out today but and film it but you guys probably don't care about the end result after watching me do all these measurings and everything. <laughs> Maybe you do. I don't know. Put a description. Put a put a um, make put a comment down below and tell me if you want me to go ahead and and um, edit and post the video of the actual material being cut uh, cut out and sewn. If you want that put today or next week, let me know in the comments comments. I've only had one cup of coffee today. It's definitely not enough. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I know it's uh, it's interesting to watch people actually do um, their own crafts. Some people may not watch this. Some people may think, oh, it's lame to watch people make their own patterns or to cut pipes or to whatever, whatever they're doing, woodworking. But some people might find it enjoyable. So I went ahead and that took me the video is probably only going to be a few minutes, but that probably took me about a half hour, 45 minutes to measure and cut out the first attempt and then the second attempt and then put it on the hat. So we'll see in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.